Okay, YouTubers, this is The Angry Prepper. So today's video on The Angry Truths channel, we're going to talk about the World Economic Forum's plan hitting New York City. Now, I do understand, guys, that in liberal cities like New York, or democratic cities like New York, this plan is going to be followed throughout the country. The problem is they are spewing lies to get to their goal. Now, I have to say, guys, that I learned about this today, so I'm doing a video on this right now real quick. I'm going to get it out in a couple of minutes as soon as I'm done filming. But I found out that it's not a carbon tax that they want to put on meat in New York City. They want a carbon reduction or carbon footprint reduction by way of lessening the amount of meat that comes into the city. So the city itself is cutting down meat consumption by buying less. So they're reducing the meat budget, but they're going to increase the plant-based diet budget. Now, I didn't know there was such a, a, a divide in food budget, but apparently there is. Again, this is here in New York City. I don't know what other cities are doing, but I can absolutely see other Democratic and or liberal cities doing the same thing. They want to reduce the carbon footprint because they say that a lot of the greenhouse gas emissions come from the delivery of food to New York City. Now, the consumption and production of food is producing the greenhouse gas emissions here in New York City, especially meat. They had to throw that especially meat in the article, stating that only the only way food is being delivered or the abundance of food being delivered is through way of meat. Now, their, their ideology behind it is that you can put more, because, sorry, plant-based food diet or plant-based food is weighs less that less emission less emission will occur that's their ideology their thinking because that's the only thing i can think of because all right so you don't have trucks carrying meat but you have them carrying plant-based diet meals if you have 23 trucks coming in with meat what do you, what is that you're gonna have 20 trucks of plant-based diets coming in because you could fit more in a truck and because they weigh less that's the only math i can think works out but nonetheless it's still stupid because they're using a falsehood to create this problem or or solve this problem rather sorry so now keep in mind construction here in new york city is number one with greenhouse gas emissions number one number two is transportation now i'm, I'm not sure if they're also combining individual car or, or citizens cars transportation as well as city transportation but nonetheless it's construction first transportation section second and food production and consumption third so again they're going after the lower hanging fruit which is the food but keep in mind guys people don't like that plant-based diet crap and any and a lot of people that i've, I've come across that are plant-based diet eaters or vegans or whatever you want to call it they're usually the uh, jerk offs that spark shit like this. They want to force people to eat less meat. It has always been my experience, if you will, when I run into people like, why don't you try this? Why don't you try that? I don't want to try any fucking your, 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 your leaf meal. I don't want any rabbit food. I'll have rabbit food with my meat. I'll have spinach and cauliflower and broccoli and carrots and things like that with my meal based diet. But nonetheless, guys, Eric Adams is an arrogant piece of shit. He's a cancer to society. He was a cancer when he was an NYPD officer or a cop, rather, sorry. So now that he's a mayor, he's trying to instill his bullshit on the city by cutting meat or cutting access to meat, meaning less meat coming in because they're going to be buying less. Now, right now, as it stands, this is for uh, city run businesses and or city run entities so i guess uh city city run entities that have cafeterias they're probably going to have less meat in it which is bullshit because now what you're going to do a wind up doing is you're forcing people to now make a choice meat or or plant-based diet well if you have less meat because the first crew of people came down and ate all of it now people are forced to eat a plant-based diet, which, again, guys, is that authoritarian bullshit thinking. And Eric Adams is part of the authoritarian bullshit thinking because he's also taking the World Economic Forum's plan and instilling it or emplacing it here in the city. 
So Adams wants to cut greenhouse gas emissions by 33 percent by 2030. It fits perfectly with the 2030 agenda. If people are not paying attention to what the world is doing as well, if you looked at the G7 and the World Economic Forum, they want to cut down global emissions by 2030. Again, part of the 2030 plan. But the 2050 agenda, if you will, or the 2030 agenda and the 2050 agenda, human population is supposed to be decreased dramatically. So as we see, guys, we are seeing they are unfolding their plan in front of us and telling us the exact path they're taking to achieve this goal. Now, this part I have to read because I was astonished in this, in Eric Adams saying this. Food impacts everything. It impacts our physical health, our mental health, our way of life. And today we are saying to New Yorkers and really the globe that it impacts our planet. One in every five metric ton of carbon dioxide our city emits comes from food, but all food is not created equal. The vast majority of food that is contributing to our emission crisis lies in meat and dairy products. Again, guys, they are completely forgetting about the fact that we have factories all over the world emitting greenhouse gases into the air, all over the world. But they're going after meat and dairy. And they keep stating meat and dairy as the target, guys. It's the code word for the elites to target meat and dairy and to release whatever new virus is going to happen or whatever new bullshit is going to happen. They're going to release it on cows and they're going to release it more on chickens. And they're probably going to have something deadlier for both so that our meat consumption dwindles. Now, will we see it this year? Probably not. But we'll probably see something in the next couple of years that's going to affect cows and or chicken. Now, here's where the dirty lie comes from. They, they claim that cows that are grazing on pasture are grazing on land that was cut down, that had forces cut down. So they're saying that cows are affecting the environment because to have grazing pastures, you have to cut down forest, which is bullshit. There are more forests being cut down these days, today, and for the last 20, 30 years now, have been cut down to build cities. No mention of that. No mention of Eric Adams mentioning that. He wants to mention how they're cutting down forests, which is a detriment to the planet, for grazing pasture. But no one wants to mention all of the forests that China's cutting down, for example, to build cities. Or Brazil is cutting down, or South American countries that are cutting down forests, jungles, to build cities. Let's not mention that, but let's mention grazing pastures, which is bullshit. And the crazy thing is, guys, is that it's clear bullshit, but people will still believe this. The idiots of the world, the morons of the world, the vegans of the world will believe this bullshit. Now, this is part, guys, of the 2030 agenda. This is their thing. This is what they want to do. This is what they're implementing. They, again, are telling us or they're giving the roadmap to what they're doing. Now, believe it or not, guys, in the 2030 agenda, when they talk about human depopulation, they're absolutely showing us how they're going to get there. Bill Gates and Fauci have mentioned in recent months how we're going to get there. If you're not paying attention, you're definitely behind the curve and you need to be ahead of the curve and see what's coming because they're going to surprise the majority of people with this shit. Meanwhile, the rest of us are already hip to what is going on or what's about to happen. Anyway, guys, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching The Angry Truth channel.